Out the farmer went, so the tale is spent, sowing seed upon the ground. Some fell on the earth where it could not last, grabbed by birds or trotted down. Jesus told these tales it plain, God's own kingdom to explain. Come and lend an ear, think of what you hear, learn the secrets of God's reign. Jesus told these tales is plain, God's own kingdom to explain. Come and lend an ear, think of what you hear, learn the secrets of God's reign. Some in shallow soil sprouted from his toil, Lacking moisture, it soon died. Some grew in the weed, strangling it indeed, though to live it bravely tried. Jesus told these tales is plain, God's own kingdom to explain. Come and lend an ear, think of what you hear, learn the secrets of God's reign. Come and lend an ear, think of what you hear, learn the secrets of God's reign. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, have mercy. For peace of on high, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the civility of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church, for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God, the English Kirk, for the venerable Presbyterate, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government, for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city community, for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and every Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves to one another, and your whole life to Christ, our God. To you, O Lord. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is do all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. 
Sing praise to his name, give to him glorious praise. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Be gracious to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. <clears throat> Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Son and Word of God, who being in mortal, deign for our salvation to become incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and became man without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death have trampled death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior, O Son of God, risen from the dead. Save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Wisdom, the attentive, come, let us worship and bow before Christ. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. message of the resurrection was heard by the women disciples from the angel and being freed from the ancestral curse they boasted to the apostles death is despoiled Christ our God is risen, giving great mercy to the world. O Christ our God, you are above all praise. You have established our fathers as beacons on the earth leading us all to the true faith through them. O most merciful Lord, glory be to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. The 
Son shone forth from the Father indescribably. Into natures he was born of a woman. Recognizing this, we do not reject the representation of his human form. Rather, we depict it with reverence and honor it with faith. Therefore, the church has hold fast to the true faith and kisses the image of the incarnation of Christ. For you are holy, our God. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. attentive peace be to all wisdom the attentive blessed are you and praiseworthy O lord the god of our fathers and glorious forever is your name for you are just in all that you have done for us Blessed are you and praiseworthy, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name. Wisdom. A reading from the Epistle of St. Paul the Apostles to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive, brethren. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God. God to you, consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teachings. It is good to have our hearts strengthened by the grace of God and not by foods which are useless to those who take them as a standard for living. We have an altar from which those who serve the tabernacle have no right to eat. Their bodies of the animals whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest as a sin offering are burned outside the camp. Therefore, Jesus died outside the gate to sanctify the people by his own blood. Let us go to him outside the camp, bearing the insult for which he bore. For here we have no lasting city. We are seeking one which is to come. 
Through him, let us continually offer God a sacrifice of praise that is the fruit of the lips which acknowledge his name. Do not neglect good deeds and generosity. God is pleased by sacrifices of that kind. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. Alleluia. 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 The God of gods, the Lord, has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Gather before him his righteous ones who have made a covenant with him by sacrifice. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all and to your spirit here reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. At one time, Jesus began to pray this way. He looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, that your Son may give glory to you. Inasmuch as you have given him power and authority over all mankind, that he may bestow eternal life on those you gave him. Eternal life is this, to know who you are, the only true God, and him whom you have sent, Jesus Christ. I have given you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. Do you now, Father, give me glory at your side, a glory I had with you before the world was created. I have made your name known to those you gave me out of the world. These men you gave me were yours. They have kept your word. Now they understand and realize that all you gave me comes from you. I entrusted to them the message you entrusted to me, and they received it. They have known that in truth I came from you, for they have believed it was you who sent me. For these now I pray, not for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are really yours. Just as all that belongs to me is yours, all that belongs to you is mine. And so it is in them that I have been glorified. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we remember the Sunday, it's called the Sunday of the Ecumenical Council, the Council of Nicaea. This gathering, worldwide gathering of leaders of the church was held in 787 AD. The purpose of this council was to formulate the creed, the Nicene Creed, which we pray and sing at every liturgy. They formulated those words, a formula of belief and faith. They did this as a group. 
to be the official faith of the church. In today's epistle of St. Paul to the Galatian people, he calls upon them not to be simply concerned about the legal observance issues, but with your faith in Jesus, simple legal observance is lacking without a sincere and true charity. At times we know in civil society, some laws are unjust. Some laws are offensive in the eyes of God, such as the law allowing abortion. Abortion choice enacted as law by our Supreme Court. We should remind ourselves that this issue is not just a so-called Catholic issue. Besides the Catholic Church, the Protestant faith denominations are pro-life. The Orthodox churches are pro-life. The Jewish faith communities are pro-life. And the Muslim faith community is pro-life at all. So it's not just simply a narrow Catholic issue. People of other churches and faith denominations are pro-life. Well, some, uh, some people might claim, well, this is the law. And all laws have to, should be obeyed. Yes, St. Paul said in Galatians, Laws should be obeyed if they are just. They should be obeyed if they're fair. They should be obeyed if it's for the greater good of all. How can it be good for a child in a womb? Where is the fairness in that? The child deserves to live. We all know that laws are necessary for the good of society. You have to have them to curb evil, evil doing, the possibility of harming others. You have to have laws for the good of others. Jesus himself once said in the Bible, give to God what belongs to him, but never forget to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. We all, we all want to live in a peaceable, loyal life as productive citizens of this country. And so our laws should reflect those efforts. If any laws do not, they should be amended, or the laws should be done away with. Yet you and I know, sadly, some lawmakers are neglectful in lawmaking. Remember the remarks that used to be made that the law is so complicated, there's so many details in it, we'll sign it first, and then we'll look at it. Remember when the Speaker of the House said that, she laughed, she said, well, the law is that big with all the pages and papers, we have to sign it first, and then we'll look at it. Where is the logic in that? Where is the intelligence in that? How could you respect a law like that? But that's the attitude today. Sadly to say, others want laws to be made for the acquisition of power over you. They want laws, laws often are made to control you, to inhibit your freedom. And some laws are made out of simple greed, to profit from them. Now these laws are, they breed, these laws bring disgrace to the order of law. And of course, they make it easier for people to simply ignore all laws, or to pick and choose the laws that you feel comfortable in obeying. So it has come to that in our life. 
and the mere multiplication of laws are the complexity of laws. It does not simply encourage any sense of ethics or morality. Even today in public education, they're starting to admit educators are saying, you know, maybe we'll just have to go back to teaching our children ethics. It's not religious-based, but it's ethics. What is fair? What is just? What is good? What is sincere? We should start teaching, teaching ethics in school. I remember when I grew up in high school, we had such a course called civics, where we were, told, we were taught about our government, how it functions, the parts of the government, we were taught civics in school. Now they're saying in education, maybe we should go back to teaching our, our, our children how government works. What is it composed of? How does it function? How are we to participate in civics? How important is civics in our life? They're thinking of going back to that. It seems Everything old now is new again. That is just a, a tiny bit of freedom that we have to protect and defend in our lives. If we don't have ethics, if we don't have morality, you and I are doomed to eventual extinction. Think about it. If you want to be pro-choice and there's no children, who will be there? Who will populate this country? Who will do the work? Who will provide the service? There won't be anybody around. Even animals, by instinct, they love and cherish their offspring. Even an animal has something in an animal's mind to love and cherish their offspring. They want them to live. We humans are supposed to be of a higher intelligence, a higher order, and we're destroying our future. And all the wonders, all the inventions, all the marvels of technology, all the technical toys we have today, good as they are, important as they are, helpful as they are, will not save us. They will not provide for your future in this world. It will become a nightmare. St. Paul reminded the Galatian people, he said, you know, in the face of law, we belong intimately to Jesus, intimately to him. We're part of his family. We belong to him. So dear friends in Christ, important as law is, be careful. Don't let law take away your freedom. Don't let law destroy your future. Don't let law harm the church. Don't let law harm your family. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, almighty God of our fathers, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, 
for all the brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government, for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy, for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us who represent the church. holy hymn to the life creating trinity now set aside all earthly cares all earthly cares Set aside <laughs> all earthly cares, all <laughs> earthly cares. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God loving Bishop Kurt the entire priestly, diaconal, and monastic order, our civil authorities, and all in the service of our country, and the ever-memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom all you Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen, that we may receive Receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by angelic hold. precious gifts placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Grant us through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your well, holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. In wisdom let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only begotten, 
born of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father. Together with the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sin. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand your faith, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive to offer the holy and aphora in peace. Mercy, <laughs> peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with all of you and with your spirit let us lift up our hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord it is proper and just it is proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft in their wings, Singing, shouting, crying aloud, and sing the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Also cry out with these blessed powers, O loving and kind Master, and say, Holy are you, and all holy you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, and all holy and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan on our behalf on the night he was betrayed or rather when he surrendered himself for the life of the world. He took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Amen. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, 
drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Amen. Remembering, therefore, this saving command and all that has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, pray to you, our God. Moreover, we offer to you the spiritual and bloody sacrifice. We implore and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts lying before us, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ, and that which is in this chalice the precious blood of your Christ, changing them by your Holy Spirit, that for those who partake of them, they may bring about a spirit of vigilance, remission of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fullness of the heavenly kingdom, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those who parted in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and every Virgin Mary. It is truly proper to glorify you, O Theotokos, the ever-blessed, immaculate, and the Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim who a virgin gave birth to god the word you truly the theotokos we magnify among the first to lord remember our holy father francis pope of rome our most reverend metropolitan william our god living bishop kirk Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent day, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy, heavenly, mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance and send down upon us to return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for unity in the faith, for a communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves to one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation dare call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. Through the grace, the mercies, the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us be attentive. Holy gifts to holy people. One is holy. One is believe and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting, amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highest. Praise him in the highest. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Rejoice in Queen Mary, help 
for the Trinity essay. Blessed is our God always, now and ever and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory. For you have deemed us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, mortal, heavenly, life creating an awesome mysteries of christ let us worthily thank the lord the lord have mercy for you are sanctification and we give glory to you father son and holy spirit now and ever and forever amen let us go forth in peace in the name of the lord let us pray to the lord lord have mercy lord blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you save your people bless your inheritance Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, to all your people. For all generous giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you the Father of lights. We give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever, now and forever, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness, always now and ever and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Our dear people, the GCU, the Greek Catholic Union, is going to conduct a uh, calendar raffle. It'll start in December. The calendar raffle will benefit our parish. All the proceeds will go for our various renovation projects. So that, that raffle will begin in December and is sponsored by the Greek Catholic Union. So keep that in mind. Uh, I hope you can participate in the raffle. And remember, the proceeds will go to here to St. Mary's Parish to benefit our various renovation projects. Please remember in your prayers the departed Mary Jane Leshko. Her funeral will take place this coming Wednesday at 10 o'clock at St. Michael's Parish. Also remember in your prayers the departed Marjorie Kemock Wedgie her funeral will take place on Thursday at 10 o'clock. So there will be no 8 o'clock liturgies on Wednesday or Thursday. Glory to you, O Christ, God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever, amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. 
Give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother and of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles of our holy father, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the Holy Mother of God, Mary, the patroness of this church, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Ah, ah, amen. Virgin Mother Intercessor, Oh, Mary, Mary, help to keep us from misfortune. Oh, Mary, Mary, oh, Mary, faithful mother, be our helper, me. Call upon your Son, our Savior, and protect us from all sin. Call upon your Son, our Savior, and protect us from all sin.